Hey there, guys. And I fade back again. So, this is part two of my Astral Games unboxing, loot, all that. I got a bunch of stuff from the store. And if you guys saw part one, which was the uh, Cute but Deadly Diablo, I will try to uh, link that in the description. But that was the one collector's item. Then there's, you know, a bunch of other things. So I got three things here. Two of them are together. And then one of them is just kind of like an off to the side thing, which I'm going to start with that. But so today we got Gambit, the pop figure Gambit from X-Men. He is so cool. He is one of my personal favorites. One of the things that I actually found pretty interesting about him was the fact that you rarely ever see anything about Gambit, let alone movies, games, shows, figures. He's not like super top of the line hero that everyone pays attention to. Which kind of sucks, because like again, he's a he's super cool. So there he is. That is so very cool. I love the attention to detail. The each they have the ace of hearts. Diamond spades, or I'm sorry, clubs, and then spades is in his hand. And as you know, just about every Marvel pop figure is a bobblehead. Not disappointed at all. Very, very happy with that. He will be going up with the collection. So as you guys know, if you've seen, you know, some of my channel, you know, I like pop figures, you know, I like to do unboxings. Well, hopefully coming soon and hopefully the near future, I will be doing a room tour, you know, because as you can see, I just, with the help, I, uh, I just put up some shelves. I already got some stuff up on there. I got my GameCube games. I have my Joker and then over there is the uh, Giorno from Jojo Bizarre Adventure, which is one of my favorite anime. I have my Monster Hunter Stories Amiibo and my Disney D Doctor Facilier. And then behind me, I have my Dragon Ball and my uh, One Piece. And then, yeah, I have leftover boxes and stuff. Still unpacking, sadly. But... I'm going to be hopefully doing a room tour, you know, going along the shelves. I got a lot of collectible stuff. I'm the type of guy who I love collectibles. So, uh, hopefully that'll be coming soon. You know, get a bunch of shelves up. I'm hopefully over there. I'm going to be lining the wall with shelves and pot figures. I've got a shelf right up. I mean, just wall to wall over there. I'm going to have it above here over my monitor and over there in the corner. But so the next thing I got here is if anybody has heard of a fig pin, F-I-G-P-I-N, fig pin, it's a figure, pin, like like a like a pin, like, like a Disney pin or something. But uh, this one is a Dragon Ball pin from, it actually came from the uh, Dragon Ball Brawly movie. But this is a special edition clear art. So he's not colored, it's just pure white art colored design. Which I find that that's like really, really cool. So I'm gonna put that all back together. I'm gonna put them back in the box and then I'll show them off here. One more time. Ooh, got on backwards, sorry. Yeah, 
here. I'll even show you guys like the type of pin. It's it has like this huge clip in the back, but it almost functions as kind of like a stand. Like so you can literally just take this. And look at that. It's standing up. So that's what I kind of like about these and I should probably just keep them in this. But so there's one more show off. Alright, and then the last thing, which this one I was actually really, really surprised about, but very happy about. So, Dragon Ball let out a Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars collection for figures. And I have the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars Nano Frieza ship. This is the Frieza spaceship. Dragon, Dragon Stars Nano exclusive. And it comes with a special Frieza figure. So, first of all, right off the bat, Tiny little Frieza. Awesome. He comes with like a little stand so like he'll just be like sitting there you know floating above his spaceship. Which I'm probably once I get it up onto a shelf I will most likely be putting it next to my other Frieza because I have a large Frieza back there. Now I'll go grab it real quick. I got this one a couple years ago, at least six or seven years ago. So he'll probably go right next to him. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. That is so freaking cool. I don't know about anyone else. But like, Cell was cool, yeah. Boo, Majin Boo was cool, yeah. But like, I don't know, Frieza had the longest arc, but was the most underrated of all of Goku's villains, grown, grown up Goku. Like, post Saiyan Saga. Cause like, I know there was like General Tao, and there's a the army and all that. But like that that's like young Goku and mixed in with GT Goku, which I don't know. I kinda count those, kinda not. Like the whole Super Saiyan 4, that's not canon. I don't I don't count that as canon at all. But, uh, if you like, put down in the comments, who is your favorite, uh, Dragon Ball villain, whether it be Goku's villain, Gohan, whoever's specific villain, and why they're your favorites. I'd actually really like to know. So, uh, the ship came with like this plastic board. Let's see if I can count that. Wedge that last piece in there. There we go. So it's kind of like dynamic, not the you, you know what I mean. So see, 
stands like that. That's so cool. And then you just take Frieza, put him right there. Look at that. That's wicked. That is so cool. Alright, so if you guys like this video, please like, comment, like I said, you know, any uh, any specifics, you know, even if you have multiple uh, Dragon Ball enemies, put them in the comments, I I'd actually really like to know. So if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, please subscribe, you know, I've been noticing a lot of people watch the videos but don't subscribe, and subscribing lets me know that you guys actually like my content. You know, it, I know leaving con comments like, oh, cool video and stuff like that. Yeah, but like subscribing lets me know that those people are actually like, hey, this is cool and I'm willing to subscribe and stick with you. I'm not going to be like, oh, hit the bell so you get every video. But at the same time, it lets me know that you guys like my videos. And the more subscribers I get, the more stuff I do, the more I'm influenced to do stuff. But so, future plans or as probably because today's Saturday the 8th or the 9th no today's the 9th uh, May 9th Saturday so probably the 12th 13th so Tuesday or Wednesday of this coming week I will be putting out two new videos one will be a room tour with hopefully everything set up or at least marginally set up and then I will also be doing Anime Fate I love anime I have a weapons collection obviously I've got two anime weapons one I've had for a couple years and one I actually just got the other day and I'll be featuring those in a video as well so again if you guys like this video please like subscribe comment and I will see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching Thank you.